da, 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 da. Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. <laughs> How are you? How are we? You don't even know what has been going on behind the scenes. I've been running around all over the place. When I tell you, running on errands. Well, hence, that's why I'm kind of sort of dressed the way that I am. Christina bought this for me, and I absolutely love it. It's a large, and I said, buy it for me anyway, because I love it. Just look at my outfit. Just look. So I'm just wearing like these kind of sweatpants. I love them. I really do. <laughs> and then I'm wearing this, which is kind of fun. I love it. It's big. It's huge. But still, I love it. You know, and this is by Adidas. Yeah. Thank you, Christine. I live for you. I love you so very much. Welcome to YouTube, baby girl. Alrighty. So what are we talking about today? Ah, sorry. I beg your pardon. For those of you, <laughs> for those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed my name is fumi de Salovod. everybody calls me fumi my full name is olufumi layo ade tukumbo adeola de Salovod. yeah it's a mouthful i know i am half gambian and i am half nigerian so hello to my gambian sisters nagadef <laughs> And then to my Nigerian sisters, how na day? <laughs> I'm also an American citizen and British, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Don't ask. So, hello, my darlings. Hello, the world. We have 195 countries, yeah, in the world today. So, YouTube was letting me know you are one of those YouTubers that have some of the most international following of 125 countries. We have Fumi Nation in 125 countries. I am so honored. I am so honored. I cannot believe it. And I am super, super grateful. So why are we here? Well, Drea, 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 baby girl, Drea Michelle <laughs> is in the news. Drea Michelle used to be on Basketball Wives. Did you guys watch it? I watched it. I watched it because I didn't have Adrian at the time. So I had a lot of time. And I think she's beautiful. That's another thing. I met her also in, um, in California. Yeah. Beauty Con. Was it Beauty Con? I think it was Beauty Con that I met her. Petite, very tiny, all of maybe what, 5'1? Gorgeous girl. And look at how time flies. She is now um 38 she's 38 years old anyway drea has well let me read it former basketball wife star drea michelle sparked a debate on social media after rumors surfaced that she was dating 21 year old basketball star jalen green the 39 year old son nico howard is about the same age as green and attends georgia state university Oh, wow. I did not know that. I did not know that. I think for me, I'm quite surprised. Well, it continues. People started talking primarily due to the fact that the 38-year-old Michelle, so they have her as 39 or 38, so she's in her late 30s for sure. Um, they're saying here that uh, people started talking primarily due to the fact that the 38-year-old Michelle is a parent of two children. The younger child, Drew Howard, was born in 2016 during her past relationship with Orlando Scandrick, a former NFL cornerback. Her older son, Nico Howard, was born in 2002, making him close in age to Green. When the pictures of the two walking side by side began to circulate, the internet exploded. People started talking primarily due to the fact that the 38-year-old Michelle is a parent to two kids. Uh, 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 uh. Drea's son, Nico, is already taller than his mom, handsome boy. I thought that was her son. Drea Michelle trends online after being spotted with 21-year-old NBA star. Many people know that bombshell Drea Michelle has been an it girl in many sectors of entertainment. Rappers, celebrities, and athletes. Blow-ups are often assented by the model being on their arms. Mm. And now, Jalen Green appears to be the next lucky guy. Why do I think that's not a compliment? Drea Michelle wants her deal with Savage X Fenty back after being dropped for Megan the Stallion and Tori Lance joke. Recently, the 21-year-old number two 2021 NBA draft pick was spotted out with the much older Michelle, 
the former basketball wife star, is 17 years his senior, and she wore a dark green two-piece workout set, while Green wore a white t-shirt and camouflage shorts. Here's the thing. I'm a boy mom, and I cannot imagine Adrian being 21, and I'm dating a 21-year-old. That must be terribly uncomfortable for my son. On top of which, if Adrian was 21, and Adrian walked in with a 39-year-old woman, I wouldn't like it. Would I be able to say anything per se? Not necessarily, but I wouldn't like it. So I think Drea has to think about her son. Would her son like that? And you know, children, they're so wonderful. We love our parents and we protect them. And we don't necessarily tell them the truth all the time because we want our parents to be happy and we feel that perhaps we're being judgmental in a way. So she could easily ask her son, oh, does it mean anything? Does it bother you? And he'd be like, no, you know, you go ahead, you do your thing. How does it bother me? Doesn't affect me. But people talk, as we all know, and our feelings get hurt. And when you do stuff, you put yourself in a situation where he now has to defend you because what you're doing is not, it's not right in a way, you know, you, it's not illegal, but 21, 21 at almost 40, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? A 21 year old boy. That's how I look at it because I mentor 21 year olds. They're so wonderful and they have their world ahead of them and they're innocent in many ways because they're not sophisticated because they haven't had the experience and here you are dating a 21 year old when you have a 21 year old son going maybe even 22 and they're just literally months apart I couldn't do it I can only speak for myself not gonna judge her but why are you doing it You've got a wonderful brand. You don't have any reason to be alone. Find a man closer to your age, even 10 years younger. It's kind of sort of acceptable. I could see 29. I could understand 29, 100%. I just, I just can't see 21. And then of course, allegedly, allegedly, apparently you're pregnant for green. So it will be his first baby and it will be your third. And if you see on her Instagram, the last picture she put up, it was angled. So you just see her derriere, which is very beautiful and perky. <laughs> so we don't know what we are working with out here in these streets. I think it's on a moral compass. On a moral compass, at 39, you're still trying to be with these ballers, with these players. That's how it looks. That's how it has been written in. And that's why it's kind of sort of news. Because 21, you're reaching. That is what? That is a reach, mama. That is a reach. It's not... Um... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. The, that's that's why I said what I said, you know, if anything at all, think of your kids, think of how it looks. And are you comfortable with that? Are you comfortable with meeting his mom? Are you comfortable with meeting his family? What is the intent? Because from this standpoint, it looks like money and it looks like status. It looks like you have to be with these ballers, these players, these athletes, because it will align with what you are trying to be. It's not enough that you were on a reality show. It's not enough that you have your own brand. You feel that your brand has to match up with this, and that's not necessarily the case. It's just very mental how you're looking at yourself, Drea, and you have to know that you're a beautiful woman. You're a mom of two beautiful children, of one which is gone to university. Might I add congratulations 
might I add that because I salute you as well as your son to make those wonderful choices. I think it's amazing to go to uni. Not everybody's got to go, but my God, it's a fabulous foundation, fabulous foundation for me. And it really opened a lot of doors. I um, was modeling in New York, love fashion, love it till forever. And I decided that, you know what, Fooms, let me continue my thirst for acting. And I was very shocked and surprised that when I went to the actor's studio, which is the pinnacle when it comes to actors, to get your foot through that door alone, qualify, exams, tests, everything. It's such an honor because with that right there, a lot of agents will look at it that, you know what, did you study your craft, blah, blah, blah. And in the requirement, I did not know that you had to have a bachelor's. You had to have a bachelor's degree. It was a requirement for you to be even considered to do the exams, anything at all, to get into NYU Actor Studio. And so I will always be grateful to my parents, my dad, who said, you got to go to uni. You got to go to uni. And it turned out that my passion, my love, actually that was a requirement. It's a huge foundation. You make friends that you have for life in college. So, Drea, congratulations for that. Congratulations to you and congratulations to your son that's actually doing it. But he's raised well and um, he seems to be doing okay. I think this is important also for your younger son. Because I remember when you were expecting in 2016, that was just, what, eight years ago. And um, it's important because our children watch us and they copy us. Adrian copies me. It's not what I tell him. He actually copies what I do. It's extremely important because you're raising sons that will become husbands and also become fathers. For Mr. Green, he's a young boy. Andrea, like I said, gorgeousness. At 39, she's beautiful. So I can understand how he's attracted to that. And he also might be a young 21-year-old that's very mature and doesn't want to hang out with 21-year-old screaming girls but he's still not that mentally, his frontal lobe still not developed. When you look at it in that perspective, oh wow, still not developed. And so you're looking cute and hot. You know that this relationship will not last forever and a day. You know that because you're 17 years older than him. And once he has gotten what he wanted and he has sampled and he has tasted and he has enjoyed that liqueur, yeah, that fine wine, you go on to something else. He got the money. He's got the freedom. I say this also to all women. Is age an issue to an extent? And it does not extend and cover every single relationship. Because there are successful relationships out there that are 20 years apart. And they've been married for 20 years. Most especially when the girl is much younger than the guy. You see that all the time. So it is an exception. Yes, it happens. But for the mainstream, the relationships don't last. They don't last. Especially when the woman is much, much older than the guy. Because what? Green is 21. Yes. Let's call it another 30 years. He's only 51. Which means that he's still younger than me. Because I'm 54. Drea will be pushing 70. Yep. You think that relationship will last? Do you think that this wonderful young Jelen will still be in love with Drea? Absolutely not. I called it and you can quote me and you can tell me in the comments for me. You don't know. I'm telling you right here and now. Jelen will not be with Drea for the next 30 years. That will not happen. Absolutely not. He won't even marry her. How about that? They might have a baby together. That's easy. That's a one night. That's a sweet night. That's when everything aligned. The stars, the music, the low lights, the mood. Everything feels fabulous in the dark. You wake up in the morning. Uh, you know what? I gotta go. I gotta go train. And he just might not come back at 7 p.m. that night or the next night or the night after that or next week. And you have another child to raise. It's extremely important for you to understand that these children are going to be raised wanting to know their dad, wanting, of which you will know why they're not together, all of these questions. 
because I see it now when I drop Adrian off for school. I see it with the parents teachers meeting. I see it with other children. There are two, there are twins, twin boys. <laughs> Love me. I've told the mother that, you know, they can come and play with Adrian here, you know, in the house over the weekends. It's extremely important. It's extremely important because you will not understand what foundation means to them. It's extremely important. So think about it. And this is not only to Drea, but this is also to all women. If it's fun, you know, laughy, hee hee, caca, whatever, still, there has to be a standard. There has to be a moral compass. There has to be ethics and principles and scruples. You're a mom. And so you lead by example, whether you like it or not, that's just what it is. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my darlings. I'm going to put the hair wash routine after this episode because you guys absolutely lived and loved it because you tell me I can't find it. I can't find it. I'll put it up here. Okay. I love you guys always and forever. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my darlings, and I'll see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. And yeah. in... get this going. That's it. Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? <laughs> How are we? My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed. I got so many requests in my DMs. I had to do this episode for you on this fine Saturday, my darlings. All of you want to know what is my short natural 4C hair routine. And I am here to show you. Now, before I start, I wanted to say a huge thank you to the Natural 4C Hair community. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys are amazing. So welcoming. A lot of you sent me DMs. A lot of you sent me different hairstyles I could try. A lot of you just embraced me. And I did not know that there was this big, huge kind of sort of community out there. I just did not know. And might I say, I give you such high regard and respect because you just sat back, loved me, supported me. None of you, and some of you I knew personally, never came to me and said, Fumi, cut your hair. Fumi, go natural. Fumi. You never did that. But when I did decide for myself that I really want to embrace my own hair, you were there to hold my hand. You were there to say, okay, this is what I do. This is what you should do. So thank you very, 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 very much for that. I also have to thank Healthy Hair Studio by Eniton and Eniton Hair Coach. She is a trichologist that I had the greatest pleasure, honor of meeting on the 19th of July of last year. And she changed my life. Thank you, Eniton, because she held my hand through this journey and I could never have ever, ever gotten here without her. I, it was just, I really, looking back, as we've talked about this, looking back, I think it was just timing because I wanted to go back to my natural hair. I just did not know how I would transition. Good morning, Fumination. Good morning. I'm at one of my favorite places in the world. And you can see our CEO, Eniton. Hair studio. <laughs> Girl, what I tell you? It's so 12 weeks. 12 weeks, baby. So we're going to measure to ensure that the new growth we see here with the seed, the reflection on the end. I can barely comb the hair. Very soft. I can be very soft. I'm treating it with all of the treats. But when I tell you the hair has grown, it's a hot mess. I'm telling you, and it's thick. And I've, you know, I was thinking last night, when last did my hair was natural? Over 30 years ago. Over 30 years ago. And I'm so happy. A completely new experience. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> and I met her 19th of July was when she had her launch here in London, her first standalone hair studio which is fantastic. You've seen it so many times because I go there all the time. 
and from the 19th of july august september october november december january i think it was the second or third of january i cut my hair so what do you have in a matter of six months i was able to transition they are the best for me when it comes to black hair and she does every type of hair every texture also caucasian indian asian but for black hair girlfriend wins the award one billion percent so let me start by saying i have to wet my hair my hair is so thick it's so dense i have to wet it just to soften it Once I've wet it, I go in with the shampoo. Go in with any shampoo of your choice because Healthy Hair Studio does not have any shampoo yet. <laughs> And I just wash out my hair I do it like two or three times and sometimes I'll even put conditioner first in my hair first because the hair is thick and I want to get all of the product out and it helps with the conditioner so I wet the hair first I put in conditioner I rinse the conditioner out and then I go in and I shampoo it and I just enjoy the time the me time I wash my hair out on a weekly basis. That's where I'm at right now. Still so And then after I've done that, I go in with the fabulous, fabulous, fabulous inches conditioned. Oh my God. And I take my protein defense and I mix the two in a bowl. And she's got beautiful color bash bowls here with the spoon mixing bowl. So you can mix all of that in. Absolutely fabulous. And then I use her comb, amazing, because it's the widest tooth comb I have and it's what works for me because it really gets through my hair. So I do this in the bathroom and I just, you know, comb it out, it's therapeutic for me. I'll leave my hair as is and have a bath. I have a bath, wash, scrub my feet and everything with a pumice stone and then I rinse out the hair, rinse it all out. So once it's all nice and done, you can feel how fabulously soft, how fabulously soft it is. And that is when I just take a towel and I just let all of the water to the next process. So here we are, darling, and I'm gonna take my towel off. And here we have my natural 4C hair. Oh, I love my hair so very much. Let me turn it around for you guys so that you can see. <laughs> 
can you see yes there you go i don't think i will process my hair ever again i don't think so i just i love it 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 i cannot tell you how much i just love my hair it's beyond words it really is beyond words so what i do i go in moisture hold <laughs> there is nobody that i have introduced moisture hold to and they have not come back to me and said for me thank you not one this for the winter oh my god when you take it out like so it melts it melts and this has what has conditioned my hair especially throughout this winter yeah so i rub it together the hair is short so i just rub it in okay and maybe i'll just part it into my scalp right here and just rub it in in each section let me turn around for you guys and it's already grown now what i live and love because i don't wash my hair every day and your hair can be really brittle and dry yeah i take a little bit of my mighty moisture every day yeah a little bit of that and believe you me you will not have to wet your hair in the mornings just take a little bit of this that's it you see the hair go white it's okay to all melt if you do this in the mornings you don't have to wet your hair not at all and the hair what it becomes nice and soft in order for you to comb it is beyond and what beyond and amazing so from there this is one of the best combs ever and so what i do is that i comb my hair and i comb everything forward because the hair is thick so you don't want to hurt yourself <laughs> look oh god so I comb my hair and the crown of it as well and that's what I do in the mornings and then I go in with a smaller comb I really get it. Ah. See how thick it is. Darlings, the last but definitely not the least is the deep follicle treatment. When I tell you, when I tell you, if you don't do anything else, get the deep follicle treatment. So what do I do? I put a little bit onto my hand, yeah? And this is for your ages. I do this every day, every single day, right there yeah and a little bit but it's all grown in especially the front the front now has grown in as you can see and i'm very happy about that so i put all of that in and any tongue was fantastic she said for me i'm going to give you the derma stamp i had never ever heard of it in my waking life the derma stamp is a little stamp that has little needles at the end of it. And you can screw it all the way down and you can screw it all the way out, yeah? Now, you should also get the sanitizer spray because you want to make sure that this is cleaned all the time. So I'm going to do that right now so that you can see. So you just do this. 
so that you make sure that everything is sanitized and then I take a tissue and I wipe okay now once I put the deep follicle treatment into the edges of my hair and you can also add it like so you can take your face rollers these you can find on Amazon okay and what you do you just massage that in into the sides of your hair the edges that you feel that oh they have to grow back and I do this every evening and then you have the other one that's a face roller this is the most soothing for me so I just massage that into the hair there we go and then I massage it also onto the sides here after doing that you take the stamp and I go point one, yep, and you take it and you stamp it in. Does it hurt? No, it pricks. That's the only way I can describe it. And you punch that into the hair. This is what really picked up the edges. This is what picked up my what? It picked up my edges. I was shocked okay I do it like for a minute and then you're done and then you just wipe it you can also sanitize I always sanitize when I'm about to use it okay and you put that away and then I have what my little comb here and that picks it out is that not cute and I do that in front because all of this hair is not as long. And so I just pick it out with this little comb that you can get anywhere, I'm sure. And then I just pat it on the sides. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> and that is how I've been taking care of my hair. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I don't think I will ever relax my hair again. I don't think so. I think I will always have my hair natural. I think it might be bigger. I will never relax my hair again. And what is amazing also, I don't know whether you guys noticed, I don't blow dry my hair. I just let it dry very naturally. And that is it. Super soft, super, super duper thick. And I'm like totally happy. I'll turn around again for you guys to see. So when it comes to taking care of my hair, I have not found any other product that is as fantastic when it comes to moisture, when it comes to really, well, okay, for example, which I'm loving, I have no breakage, zero breakage. There's nothing that comes up out of it. It's unbelievable to me, you know, hair that used to break and I would have the hair in my combs not anymore that to me is like i just feel the most beautiful like this i really do the most beautiful like this and i just don't feel the need for my hair to be processed in any way will i still wear wigs a hundred percent i will wear wigs because i love fashion i love style i love to change it up so i will absolutely do that but I really feel the most beautiful, the most beautiful for a very, very long, the most beautiful like this. And I like my hair free. I like the freedom of it all. I think it just brings more attention to my face. You know, this is my new hair care routine and I hope you enjoy. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button, my darlings, and I will see you sooner than later. And of course, as many of you know, I have a discount code with Anytone. So don't forget to use that only online for all of your products when you put it in your basket. Okay. And of course, to the natural 4C hair community, thank you for embracing me. Thank you so very much. All of my love, darlings. Mwah. <laughs>